As China's largest OEM, Foxconn has risen rapidly with orders from Apple's iPhone. However, as competition from domestic OEMs intensifies and Apple iPhone sales decline, Foxconn has gradually lost its competitive advantage. In recent years, Foxconn has actively deployed in the Indian market, hoping to alleviate its difficulties by expanding into new markets. However, against this background, Foxconn's performance continued to decline, with net profit plummeting 56% and total revenue plummeting 30%. Foxconn's excessive reliance on Apple orders has led to a continuous decline in performance, making them realize that they need to find new breakthroughs. As a world-renowned electronics manufacturing giant, Foxconn provides manufacturing services to many well-known international brands such as Apple. Foxconn President Terry Goh said that if Apple withdraws from the Chinese market, it will have a serious impact on China's supply chain and lead to the collapse of a large number of companies. However, this view is not entirely accurate. Although Apple is one of Foxconn's important partners, China's mobile phone supply chain does not rely solely on Apple. What is Foxconn founder Terry Goh's intention to visit Huawei? Under such circumstances, Foxconn founder Terry Goh visited Huawei many times, hoping to take over orders for Huawei's Mate 60 series, thus reversing Foxconn's predicament. Foxconn has efficient foundry capabilities and good quality control, while Huawei's Mate 60 series has been in short supply since its release and has been highly sought after by consumers. Foxconn can effectively meet Huawei's production needs, provide Huawei with more excellent products, and form a win-win partnership. However, it is unknown whether Huawei will accept Foxconn's help. Foxconn has worked with Huawei in the past, but the relationship eventually broke down. When Huawei successfully impacted the domestic market with its advanced 5G technology and self-developed chips and forced Apple to cut orders, Huawei provided Foxconn with an order worth 17 billion yuan to help Foxconn tide over the difficulties. However, when the United States imposed sanctions on Huawei, Foxconn proactively terminated its OEM services for Huawei mobile phones. This departure from the original cooperation disappointed Huawei. Therefore, there are questions about whether Huawei is willing to cooperate with Foxconn again. Why is Huawei unwilling to cooperate with Foxconn? In today's era, Supply chain security and core technology confidentiality are crucial to a company's development. Huawei has been building a debutification supply chain system in recent years. In particular, the core accessories and technology sources of the Mate 60 series are kept confidential. Since Huawei's mobile phone business has been subject to sanctions and restrictions by the United States, Huawei is unwilling to give Foxconn confidential information on its core supply chain to avoid providing the United States with an opportunity to take advantage. Terry Goh's attitude towards catering to the European and American markets also makes Huawei suspicious of Foxconn's rethinking. Foxconn once stopped OEM services for Huawei and other mobile phone hardware. This backstabbing behavior caused Huawei's trust in Foxconn to drop significantly. If Foxconn re-engages in Huawei's mobile phone business and masters confidential information about the relevant supply chain, will Foxconn use this information to show favor to the United States and become a tool of the United States, thereby posing a threat to Huawei? This is something that Huawei cannot ignore. Of Foxconn's survival crisis and self-seeking blessings Foxconn is currently facing an existential crisis, mainly due to their over-reliance on Apple orders, resulting in continuous decline in performance. 
Foxconn made the mistake of putting all its eggs in one basket in the past and failed to adjust its strategy in a timely manner and look for new business opportunities. Now they are aware of their dilemma and hope to find a breakthrough through cooperation with Huawei. However, GoTiming's return and the company's self-seeking are not feasible. Huawei has experienced various difficulties and challenges in the past few years. Through its own efforts and innovation, it has finally broken away from the Western blockade and achieved great success. Huawei currently ranks first in the high-end mobile phone market with the strong performance of the Mate 60 series and has a tendency to suppress Apple's iPhone. In this context, Huawei may no longer need Foxconn's help, nor will it trust Foxconn too much because it will turn around. In short, Foxconn's choice was wrong. Their past reliance on Apple did not bring them real sustainable development. Rather than placing hope on Huawei's orders and turning back to beg for mercy, it is better to seek a turnaround through one's own efforts. Foxconn should think deeply about its competitive advantages and future development direction, and actively adjust its strategy, innovate in science and technology, expand new markets, and achieve diversified development in order to remain invincible in the fierce market competition. Foxconn has faced severe competitive pressure and performance decline in the past few years, and its excessive dependence on Apple has also become a bottleneck for their development. It is not a wise choice for Terry Go to turn around and pin his hopes on orders from Huawei. Huawei has overcome the Western blockade through its own efforts and innovation in the past few years and has achieved great success in the high-end mobile phone market. Foxconn should learn from past mistakes, find its own development direction, and actively adjust its strategy to achieve diversified development in order to remain invincible in the fiercely competitive market. Facing changes in the external environment, China is constantly adjusting and optimizing its economic structure and promoting an innovation-driven development strategy. China's economic foundation is solid and has the conditions for stable development. The Chinese government has been encouraging local companies to increase investment in innovation and R&D, and providing supporting policies and measures to promote industrial upgrading and enhance competitiveness. At the same time, China is also actively seeking diversified business opportunities and reducing reliance on a single market and customers to reduce risks and resist the impact of external adverse factors. Therefore, China's economy will not be easily affected by external shocks. China's mobile phone industry has strong adaptability and competitiveness, a solid economic foundation and a diversified strategy. China will continue to deepen reform, adhere to open development, promote high-quality economic development, and make greater contributions to global economic growth and cooperation.